Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another object competition video in this year's Christmas competition for a matter of fact. So without further ado guys we're going to get straight into it. You guys know the drill. I think this is the third or fourth Christmas competition we've done over the years now. I'm pretty sure we've been doing it since at least 2020 so it's been a long run but let's see what we have got in store for this year. So here we go. We've got eight objects um, in the lineup here. So we're going to kick it straight off with Ali's object here. So that's the first one in the line. Oh, okay. I'm liking the pictures already. Oh, look, look at these. Right. Okay. So the first one, Ali. Let's see what they have got for us. Can I, can I place objects? Wait, what's going on here? Oi. It would be useful to place objects. What's, what's going on? Oh, there we go. There's Mercury. What's, what's going on there? That's strange. Oh, Mercury. Mercury saved us. Okay. Right, so... There we go. Right, so Ali. Yeah, let's place it in. Oh, it's really small. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Why are we in chart mode? Oh, that would probably explain things. <laughs> there we go. Right, what's that all about? Right, get that out of here. Right, so here it is. So this is Norfit. Whoa, okay. Ooh, I like it. I, I like the atmosphere on that. Okay, where, where's Cersei? Uh, simply a Christmas planet. By the way, it has detail on the dark side of the planet. It's a good-looking world. I like the green. I like the red. Reminds me of my old Pascal custom. That looks very, very nice. I really like the way it looks. Nice red land. Got the uh, obviously white snow area. The nice green atmosphere. Nice haze to it. It's almost like glow. It's glowing hot green. Look at that. I like it. Looks good. Massive crater on the side as well. Very, very nice indeed. Really, really like that. So that's, that's a strong start, right? Uh, well, well, hang on. Oh, there we go. That's better. Right, so next up we have this one here. This is from... Who is this? This one is Soppy. Let's see what they got. So it's a gas giant. Sanus Clatter. Here it is. So it's got a mix of blue bands in there as well. It's almost like they knew how to go blue with the background this year. <laughs> right. So let's see. Uh, no description for this one. So it's a nice Christmassy gas giant with a bit of blue mix in there as well. Looking good. Very nice. So that's San Sanus Clatter. Next up, we have got uh, this one here. Carmelia. This is from Game Lover 1118. There it is. Here you go. So let's see what the description of this one is. This sub Earth planet was named after its caramel colored surface. It has characteristic deep trenches that are rich in a mineral called uh, peppermintium, which also gives us a deep red glow in the dark. Mine operations have caused peppermintium dust to enter the atmosphere, giving the clouds a reddish tint. Regardless, the planet remains habitable with an Earth-like atmosphere and slightly colder temperature range. Very nice indeed. So there's the red glow from behind. Uh, that was mentioned as well. Looking good. Okay, what's next? Right, so we have Eternity's planet next. Let's go ahead and place it in. Whoa, my God. Wow. Oh my god. That is insane. Look at that. Oh, that is rid that's ridiculous. How is that possible? Oh my. Oh, talk about unique. That That is just... Okay. Merry Christmas. Best appearance in a red sign nebula background. Oh, actually, we do have a kind of red... I made a cut. I mean, this is a custom one, but ah, it mixes as well. Okay. The season we've given is back for this competition. I present the Christmas ornament. Made to fit the theme of Christmas, complete with colourful decorations, related props, and festive colours to complete the ornament. Christmas is not only the season of giving, but also is to cherish thousands of years of advanced evolution since the birth of Christ. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Subscribe to Neptune in, guys, he says. Oh, well, thank you. Happy New Year to you as well, and uh, Merry Christmas. Wow, look at the detail on that bad boy, though. That is... that's crazy. How was he managed that? I mean, what, oh my, we just see the surface. Oh, where's I want the map. Hang on. What is this? <laughs> Look at that. How do you manage that? Oh, that's crazy. Let's actually try and break it down. Let's have a look underneath. So it's got... There's the atmosphere. Cloud, there's blue clouds that aren't actually visible. There's just none on the clouds. What does it look like with the clouds? Yeah, the clouds would probably ruin it, wouldn't it? Yeah, okay. So, clouds off. Heat glow off. Oh, that's a heat glow. Okay. How's he got the writing on it? What is that? Is that snow? It is. Oh my god. So that's what it looks like without that. Liquid? So liquid is the red. How has he got the green? That's got to do something with the elevation level, surely. 
It is. Oh, it's customizable as well. What? Wow. So you could have it any color. That's pretty crazy. Okay. Wow, we. Vegetation liquid. Whoa, vegetation is insane. This has got some pretty wild stuff to it. That's for sure. Heat glow on. Atmosphere on. Oh, talk about a crazy submission. That is probably one of the craziest objects we've ever seen in a competition. I mean, that that rivals the Halloween ones and probably beats them, to be honest, because that is a crazy build. Okay, there you go. Right, moving on. Next up, we've got this one here. This is from Core. They have just named it a bunch of letters. There it is. Okay, all the way down here. Have they given us any description? Let's see. No description for this one. Has a wild name though. But there it is. Red and green design. Looking good. Very, very nice. Okay. Cool. Moving on. Uh, we have this one from Red Car Racer. Let's go place in. It's a big one. It's a gas giant. Green. Very heavily green gas giant. It's the Grinch. The Grinch gas giant. Hey, hey. Nice. Uh, let's see, have uh, we got a description from them? No description from them. Okay, there you go. So a huge Grinchy. Got the light blue in the top and bottom as well. Looking good. The Grinch gas giant. Okay. Moving on, we have Cryos from Phoenix here. Let's see what they've got for us. Let's place it there. Very clouded world. Okay, let's see what the description for this is. This is Cryos, a deep frozen world at the edge of the Algol system, with five captured icy asteroids as moons. This this unforgivingly cold world with liquid nitrogen seas have reported spot in a certain retound red figured, uh, red coated figure, and what appears to be a futuristic sled zip past them in the planet's skies. Very nice. It's got a picture of it in space engine as well. There. Okay. Nice. So looking underneath. There it is. So a very, very cold barrel and wild by the looks of things. There it is. Okay. Who have we got next? I think it's the last one, which is this one. It's called The Night Before Xmas from Texnec. Okay, here you go. Let's plop it in. Whoa. Wow. Oh, my God. I tell you what, that is a really cool design. It's like the stand in front of the moon on the little ledge. Wow, that's quite good, isn't it? Look at that. Try to respawn the object if it's just a sphere. This is a planet where I recreated the Nightmare Before Christmas movie poster since the movie is technically a Halloween and Christmas movie. I can count on this as a Christmas object. Well, fair enough. There it is. Very well done. That actually, it actually looks really detailed as well. Impressive. That's really bizarre. I mean, look at the... That's madness. Okay, wow. So that is our eight object lineup. So there we go. Let's make that guy smaller. Get them all together. There he is. Okay, so let's get those all, uh, all down in there. So there's uh, there's the line. I'll make the gas giants bigger. Actually, there you go. Make the make the gassies the biggest one. I did like the mix of the blue in that other one. I have to say that did look pretty cool. So right here we are. So there is the line up. Make lev. Turn that all off. Okay, so how are these guys? Well, I have to say this one here. I'm sure most of you are going to expect here, but straight away that that one is the winner. I mean, there's no, this one is this one is on another level with the design. I mean, look at the detail put into it. I mean, that must have taken ages to do. So yeah, that is straight up my winner. There's no no hard decision here. This one takes the cake for me. That the icicle looks really cool as well. Obviously the Christmas designs, the general, just the way he's done the high or the medium elevation across here with the green. That must have taken absolutely ages with the planet scaping tools. Very very cool. Underneath as well. I mean, look at the mix of different colours in it. I mean, it's absolutely insane. So there we go. So Eternity is taking an easy win here. I have to say they are they've smashed it. So there we go. As for second and third, I'm thinking I'm going to put North it North Foot here, North Foot in second, and I'm going to put Tex next one in third here with the uh, Nightmare design there. They're my top three. I have to say. So you got the two wacky designs, and you have obviously a traditional planet. But this one here. I really like the designs. Uh, you know, if, if Eternity hadn't made that insane world, this would be the winner. So, you know, I really do rate this one. I, I like the colours. I like the theme of it. it looks good. Has the colour vibe. Out of the Gas Giants, I probably would pick this one. I just like the mix of the blue, the red, and the... I, I like it. I like the blue take to it. The Grinch one's pretty cool, though. 
But yeah, I do like that one as well. So there we go. So that is my top three out of these guys. So what do you guys think of this? I mean, is, uh, what, do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Let me know down below in the comments as well. But yeah, that is my uh, winner for today. So congratulations to Eternity for taking a win here. How many wins have they got under their belt at the moment? Let's see. So they have. Uh, this is their fifth competition win in over the all time we've been doing these. So very nice. Congratulations to them on another win. So excellent stuff there. But yeah, that will send on everybody. Again, let's get everyone uh, lined up as well. Thank you very much to everyone who submitted. Stay tuned for a system on its way. I'm sure you guys can uh, guess what's coming up. But yeah, stay tuned. And yeah, I will see you in the next video, everybody. Make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. Let's even go for 100 likes on those videos as well. Subscribe. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.